a wear a light pad or um, I, ooh, sorry. Hey chicas, welcome to another episode. So today I'm gonna get a little TMI. We're gonna talk about how to insert a menstrual cup. Now I always hear my friends and family um, get disgusted or discouraged and even trying to you know use one of these and I cannot stress enough I'm such a huge advocate for women's health on how much healthier this menstrual cup is than those tampons you're using or those pads we don't know where cervical cancer comes from cancer in general right so all we can do is take preventative measures ladies um, so if you're wearing a tampon, please consider trying and using one of these menstrual cups. It's just so much healthier for you. So we have a little menstrual cup. I just invested in the Diva Cup number two. Yes, sadly, I did have a vaginal birth and that requires a new a larger <laughs> um, menstrual cup. So I, this is very new. I haven't used it yet. Um, so this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. It has a little stem. And on the Diva Cup, there's little perforated holes. So I'm gonna show you two methods on how to insert the cup, okay? First one is called the punch down method. And what I do is punch down over one of those little air holes. It, it will help you to um, insert it evenly um, if you punch down on the air hole. So when you punch down on one corner like this, it's going to create an air bubble down here. And it's also going to look like a C or a U depending on how you look at it. So it's going to look, you know, like this. So when you insert it, you almost have to do a deep sumo squat <laughs> or a deep squat um, to get it comfortably up there. Um, so what I would recommend is doing like a wide squat and bearing down. If you don't know what bear down means, like you're going poop, like push. So when you're pushing, you're gonna insert your cup even at an angle. And even when you release the cup, you're still pushing, right? Okay, once it's in there and you feel that it's okay, you know, you can stop pushing, you can stop bearing down. And then you can kind of pull down or adjust or push up just to make sure it's um, securely up there. One method that I do use to make sure it unfolds is I'll, I'll go ahead and insert one finger and spin it around a bit just to make sure you get all the air out and it unfolds completely. The last thing you want is, you know, a little leakage and, you know, you've ruined your pair of pants or whatnot. The second method that you can use to insert your menstrual cup is the fold. So you basically fold with your finger, fold it down the center so it's completely folded. Um, now, I don't find this one as easy for me because I have a tilted uh, pelvis, so it's harder for me. But, um, you know, go ahead and whatever works for you, right? So again, do your wide sumo squat and bear down while you're inserting. And the reason why we do that is to make sure that it's in place. So once you release, it will open up. Um, and just in case, um, I want to make sure that it's completely sealed. I'll go ahead and uh, move the cup around. Uh, add a little air in just to make sure it's completely sealed. It's sealed around. Sorry. Living in the city, the luxuries. Um, so yeah, you can either uh, push up to make sure it's completely up there or pull down to make sure it's secure. So my routine, once I insert the menstrual cup, I'll go ahead and step away and do my hair and makeup, and then I'll come back to it before I leave the house to make sure you know there's no leakage at all. And I also wear the Thinks underwear because I don't know how many times I've you know ruined my beautiful underwear. So I'll leave the links to the other episodes episodes down below for the uh, types of menstrual cups and the Thinx underwear. Okay ladies, 
here comes the scary part. <laughs> it's not so scary once you get the hang of it. Um, so you've successfully inserted your cup and you've worn it perfectly fine all day. Uh, now again, you don't have to change or dump out um, your cup as often as you would uh, to change a tampon or a pad. Um, so for example, I will step out of uh, to go to work at eight and I won't have to you know um, dump out the menstrual cup until about seven so depending on you know your flow that day you may need to dump out once or twice um, twice at the most I think you'll be okay in an eight hour day okay so this is our cup don't get grossed out it's just food coloring and we've worn it all day and now it's time to dump it out so uh, while you're sitting on the toilet, you're going to do a, a wide squat again um, to remove it. Now, this cup doesn't flex like our muscles do. So to remove it, it's best that you bear down again. Um, when you bear down, you're going to be pushing out the cup, right? Um, because your muscle is doing all the work. If you don't want to bear down, then you then that's when it gets kind of gross and you have to go up there yourself. So it's best to use <laughs> those muscles that we have to take it out. Okay, so once you're bearing down, it'll come out, you'll feel the tip, and you lightly squeeze and then it'll come out. Now, you see how there was a little bit of a drizzle? Um, you can use a little bit of toilet paper as you're removing it. That way it doesn't make such a mess. Um, but make sure you're hovering over the toilet when you do this. Um, otherwise, you know, it's gonna take a little practice, but that's the, that's the hardest part. Um, so with the menstrual cup, you do flush down your flow. And then with a little bit of toilet paper, just go in and clean it. And that toilet paper will get flushed as well. So once it's completely empty, it still has a little bit of residue left over. This is where you use your soap and water in your restroom to clean it out. Um, now you must clean it out with soap and water before inserting it again, just to make sure it's clean. Um, and then you can wipe it down uh, with a little bit of toilet paper to put it back in. If you girls have any questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I'm sure there's a million other girls that had the same question in mind. Um, so leave your comments down below. Uh, have you tried it? Uh, what are your fears about trying it? Um, so I'm just trying to, you know, make it a little non-scary and user-friendly, I guess, because nobody shows you how to use a menstrual cup, right? Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was valuable to you. And uh, please, for your, our own health, consider using a menstrual cup.